they should be getting food heaven or food hell. So start thinking. Are you ready for breakfast? I am. Good. Right, it's cooking next this morning. He's the man in charge of the restaurant of the decade, apparently. Uh, according to him, it's Lawrence <laughs> Keogh. <laughs> Welcome back, Lawrence. Hi, uh, mate. What are we doing then? What are, on the um, is what? Well, we're going to make kedgeri. We've got a smoked haddock here. Yeah. We've got to make madras curry paste with our caraway seeds, coriander seeds, and spices and turmeric dry roasted. And we've got our rice for the, the kedgeri. And we're going to do, uh, the sauce is going to be very creamy, poached eggs. And that's it, brother. Sounds good. It, yeah. So you want me to chop some ingredients first? Yeah, of all. I want you to chop some uh, ginger and garlic. I want to dry roast these seeds very quickly. You've got right. the coriander seeds, the caraway seeds, the peppercorns yeah. in there, and the mustard seeds. But dry roast them. You can, if you want, you can do these in, in a, a, a low oven, very slowly for half an hour or so. So what's, what have we got in there then? What's in the pan? And so that's our coriander seeds, caraway seeds, cumin seeds, just gently dry roasting. Right. Okay, also, we're going to poach the haddock. I'm showing you how to do poached haddock, smoked haddock. I'm going to put some uh, milk and water in there, bring it to the boil. Yeah. And we're going to... Oh, check on. I'm clicking away there, chef. Do you want me to stop it? Yeah. So the origins of this dish? Well, the, the dish Kedri comes from the Ang Anglo-Indian sort of um, origins. Yeah. It's one of the dishes that we brought back from the Raj. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we enjoyed it. It's one of them dishes that's uh, the leftovers. And you have it in the morning for breakfast. Similar to like a bubble and squeak. It's leftover rice yeah. and uh, things like that. So the haddock goes in there, skin side up. The milk is going to come to the boil. We do an onion PK or onion clue. I've got one for you. Okay. You've got one in your shirt. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. You've got the onion bay leaf. Bring that to the boil. We're going to pour the milk over the haddock and cling film the haddock. And I'm going to just quickly wash my hands in the sink there. So tell us about the Wolsey then, because it did used to be a car showroom, and seriously, but then it was a, a, a bank for quite a, a number of years, and yeah. now, now it's a restaurant, but an impressive building. It's a very impressive building, yeah, it's the Wolsey car showrooms, and uh, converted into a restaurant uh, ten years ago, and uh, obviously that's why we've been voted restaurant of the tech decade, I've just got to keep saying it all the time. Restaurant morning. of the decade? Yeah. When did you get this? Squeeze. Who voted you for this I've one? I've only been there a couple of weeks, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Who voted you this one? I think my mum. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got voted in, one of them things in Taste London, you know. It's, it's very nice getting awards, it's maintaining awards, as you know, James, it's one of the biggest things you've got to worry about. <laughs> you don't like to brag about it, do you? No. Ginger no, and garlic in. Yeah. Ginger okay. garlic in, yeah. Ginger and garlic in. Yeah. Okay. And then the milk's coming for. Blitz this, this is madras paste. I'm going to put in the uh, turmeric and a bit of cayenne. Yeah. Blitz that down. Okay, the chopped parsley is going to finish it with. We've well, got to talk about the rice actually, how to get your half decent rice. Yep. Um, we've got the, the basmati rice here, you wash it until all the, the milkiness, the starch goes away. So if you have it in water, you'll see that milkiness, you've got to keep rinsing it and rinsing it. And you wash it away, and the best, I, the best way of doing the rice, I'll show you roughly, if you've got one cup of rice, yep. two cups of water, okay? That's all you've got to remember, is one cup of rice to two cups of water, okay? And what you do, you bring it to a boil, and you put a lid on it, okay? That's yeah. all you do. As it comes to the boil, oh, sorry, Jeffy. Mm -hmm. you put a lid on it. And leave it for 20 minutes, you'll come back, you've got perfect rice. Right. And then turn the heat off. And then. turn the heat off. Yeah. Right, okay. sweat that, the, uh, and just guard it down. Yeah, I know, it's a nice reward to get that, and uh, yeah, we're all very, very, very chuffed. Again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave the lid on the rice. Yeah. Lid, on the rice. lid on the oh, rice. Lid on the rice. Lid on the rice. So the lid goes, as it comes up, lid on and leave it to one side. Come back yeah. to it in 20 minutes. It's, it's be a much perfect. nicer flavour though, basmati rice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice richness to it, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on with the restaurant at the moment. We're, we're, obviously, we're very busy, but John's, we're neighbours, me and John, and the only time we, we sort of speak is when I ring John. John, I'm running low, low on afternoon tea bread and ring him up, and we share that, because John's doing about 400 for afternoon tea, and I'm doing about 180, and... Uh, it's like we had a little chat earlier on. It's quite amazing to think that you still owe in Green me two Park, loaves of bread. Huh? you still owe me two loaves of bread. Oh, come on, <laughs> chef. <laughs> you know, it's quite amazing that in, in Green Park, there's there's um, two restaurants side by side doing about 580 cucumber sandwiches and scones and jam at the same time. Yeah, but there are others around there. You know, you've got. I mean, Langham's probably the, yeah. one of the most famous ones that's been yeah. there for that amount of time as well. But yeah. you know, right. There's so our, what have we got here? There's our madras paste. You can put a bit of vinegar in there and oil to preserve it. So that's how you make. Fresh madras curry paste. We put a few spoons in there. Okay, so you can put that in the in the fridge and preserve it. Cover it with oil, right. and there you go. Instead of buying it, we got our onions, our garlic. Oh, our can, I just, can I just see th this one? Is this what you've got in here? Yeah, that's finished. Okay. 
That milk's <laughs> coming to a ball. Once that milk comes to a ball, straight over the, the haddock. Straight over very, the very quickly with cling film. As yeah. quick as you can, okay? As quick as you can with cling film. Yeah. And it keeps us steaming. And we come back to the haddock in about half an hour, 45 minutes, we'll have perfectly cooked chunks of smoked haddock. Right. Yeah, there's a lot going on with the restaurant. Also, we've got uh, cream on the jacket. Also, there's a, we're opening up a hotel next year. You are. It's going to be in Mayfair, right. and it's going to be something very, very special for London. It's going to be quite unique with the, with the plan we've got. It's the first time Corbin and King have gone into hotels. Uh, obviously, we're very, the company's very famous at running restaurants. We've got the, the Worsley, we've got the Delaunay down in um, Holborn, which is uh, one of the best kept secrets. They do afternoon tea. <laughs> Right now. Remember, remember, if you would like to put your questions to it, that's if you can get a word in edgeways, if you want to put a question to Lawrence or John, uh, then you can call this number, that's 033 that's 033 Calls are charged at your standard network rate, right, remember. Let's, right. let's have a look at the haddock, this is the important bit. Okay, so we lift the haddock out. Do you want me to do the egg then? Now, yeah, you poach yeah. the eggs. <laughs> right. So if I lift the haddock out, pull the skin comes away really easily, okay. Just now the key away. to this though is to buy the naturally smoked Yeah, haddock. don't buy the stuff that looks like traffic lights. You'll be on the loo for the rest of the right. week. <laughs> there you go. You just see it just falls apart. Nice big chunks. It's a lovely smokiness. It's a real delicate. Natural fun. It's that spice smell. It's coming yeah. across here. It's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. Thank you, chef. No, no, it's nice. So the origin yeah. of this, I mean, just go way back, don't they? Oh, it goes back. Well, some people think there's Scottish origins. They think the Scottish. Uh, there's references in some books that it goes back to Scottish cookbooks, and like really? the Scots brought it out to the uh, to India, you know. So there's a bit of a handbag about. Do you want to get that blitz from me, chef? Yeah. So this guy. Let me go... that sauce now to make it a bit yeah. smooth. There's all the nice chunky pieces of haddock. Yeah. So you put some star anise in there, just yeah, a little bit that. of star anise. Get that nice perfume. I'll have the pan back, chef. Nice minute. There you go. Pan back on the stove. I'll put a splash of water in there. So we're just going to blitz this. Yeah. I'm going to wash my hands again. And then, obviously, you're going to do a poached egg with this one, but obviously... Yeah, classically, a lot of recipes have boiled eggs, don't they, John? Yeah, we Hard do board. it with soft boiled eggs. You do it with a soft boiled. Soft boiled, like an earth mole. Yeah. Know? Right, so we've got... <laughs> we'll blend that up. Just for 30 seconds. There's okay. your rice, so you That's can right. tell us what we're going to do So, now. there's the rice that we, we talked about. This is perfect. So, if you're doing, if you're doing a barbecue... <laughs> If you're doing a barbecue and you want to do a rice salad uh, this weekend, that's a little tip how to do it. In goes our rice. Okay. We'll put some of the haddock in to flavour the rice. I'll have the sauce back, chef. Right. Okay. Let's pass that through a sieve. Yeah, like I said, there's so much going on with the, with the restaurant group at the moment. With, um, said that four times so far. Yeah, I know, I'm just getting it in. <laughs> and uh, we've got Zadel down in Piccadilly, a classic French brasserie. We've got a brilliant chef there. We've got... Um, Andrew Parkinson, ex uh, Restaurant 15. He's doing a great job there. And we've got, um, like I said, a Delaunay. And us, we're just ticking over in Green Park. Just a little cafe, aren't we, John, next door to you? Just next door. Just a little yeah. cafe. There you Across go. The road. There's your sauce. I think yeah. there's a tunnel underneath that there meets. Yeah. <laughs> what the start of me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Go on, there then. There's our sauce. Explain to what's happening now. Let's clean down, chef. Just leave the top parsley there. Okay. Right. We'll bring it back, reheat it. Yes, yeah, so the hotel opens next year, so there's going to be a massive recruitment drive going on this year. And uh, people can look at our Rexra website. They can send in their applications. A little plug there. I'm just unashamed, aren't just I? Just get it in the little sauce in there. Mm. There you go. I appreciate right. it. Good to see you. There you go. Might need a bit, a bit more of this. Yeah, a bit more honey. A bit more. There we go. There we go. It's lovely. Nice right, and the eggs creamy. ready. The eggs ready. Yep. Just fold ready that through. Okay. We're going to finish with a touch of lemon juice, just to cut it, that richness down in there. Some lovely smoky flavours there. Yeah. Here we go. Eggs ready. Okay. Talk ready? Amongst, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. There you go. Gas off. I'm full of anticipation here, Lawrence. Oh my gosh, yeah. me too. It's building it up now, This looks amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. There <laughs> right, there's your egg. Okay. Beautiful. Take a, you've got a little bit of coriander crush you're going to put in there Pretty as well. Pretty coriander crush. Go for the Sorry. egg. Go for it. There you go. God, you're good at eggs, Chef, aren't you? There you go. <laughs> so there's our Worsley smoked haddock kedgeree. Easy as wow. that.
and we're done. There you go. Oh, right, you get to have a try oh of this. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Tell us what you think. Okay. Tell us what you think of that one. Yeah. Great to incorporate all those things. Lovely. People think okay. you're just chucking on. Yeah, yeah, that is. It's more yeah. creamy. It's got that dryness <laughs> that you see a lot of recipes with the dry ones. And but making uh, your own madras as well. Yeah, it's, it's easy, isn't it? Yeah. You can preserve it. It's keep it in the fridge. Yeah. This morning was quite spicy. We had to ease back yeah. on it the chili. It is quite spicy, but... Yeah. It's a wake-up call in mm, the morning. That's good, yeah. Happy with that? Mm. There you the go. Egg. With the spices, lovely. And the coriander. Yeah. He did the egg. Well, yeah. it's lovely. Thank you. Thanks, That's so great. That's amazing. I'll record that one and just play, keep playing it back. Uh, right, we need some wine to go with this. We sent our wine expert Susie Barry to the banks of the River Thames this week. So what did you choose to go with Lawrence's cracking kedgeree?